integers integers are the collection of whole numbers and negative of natural numbers consider the number line on the number line all these natural numbers start from 1 2 3 and the values increase towards the right these natural numbers are represented by n. Now for this natural number set, if we add 0, the set so formed is called as whole numbers represented by w. Now integers are collection of whole numbers. We know what whole numbers are. Whole numbers are set of values starting from 1, from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Negative natural numbers. Negative natural numbers means if we extend the line towards the left of 0, here for 1, 2, 3, we will just add the negative signs. And like this, we have to write on the number line. The values will be on left side of 0. Values will proceed on like this. So all the values that lie towards the left of 0 are negative values and towards right are positive values. 0 is neither negative nor positive. On a number line for any particular number, Values lying towards right or greater than that number. Consider 2 here. Towards right will have 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. All these values will be greater than 2. And towards left all the values are lesser than 2. We can't tell which is the largest positive integer it is same as that we cannot tell which is the largest natural number but the least positive integer is 1 when it comes towards the negative integers the least negative integer can't be determined but the greatest negative integer is minus 1. So we have greatest negative is minus 1. Least negative, we can't tell this. Towards this, the least positive integer is 1. The greatest positive integer can't be determined. Now how to compare these integers? For comparing the integers, all the positive integers are greater than 0 and all negative integers are less than 0. Two positive integers are compared in the same way the whole numbers are compared. Now, take 36 and 45. Here, we can tell that 36 is less than 45. The process of comparing the whole numbers and positive integers is same. To compare a positive and negative integer, always positive integers are greater than negative integers. Minus 45 is negative and 22 is positive. So positive integers are greater than negative. Minus 45 is less than 22. While comparing two negative integers, consider minus 36 and minus 10. Take the numerical value of this integer leaving the negative sign and see which value is greater. 
that particular value would be least. In this case, without considering the sign, 36 is supposed to be greater. But as it is a negative number, both the numbers we are comparing are negative, 36 will be least, means lesser comparing to 10. So minus 36 is lesser than minus 10. Again, let us take another example. Minus 72 and minus 110. Here also without considering signs, negative sign, 110 would be greater. But as these numbers are negative numbers, minus 72 would be greater than minus 110. It is just opposite when we consider them as positive values. Whatever the resultant comparison is there like greater or less. When we give it a negative sign, it just becomes the opposite of it. Absolute value of integers. Absolute value of an integer is its numerical value regardless of its sign. We represent absolute value of any integer between two vertical lines like this and between we will write any integer. Consider absolute value for minus 42. Here we have to leave this negative sign and write the numerical value as the result. So absolute value of minus 42 is 42. Now when we have to write absolute value of any integer that is positive, we will write the number as it is 25. So absolute value is not changing the sign, but it is leaving the sign and writing the numerical value of the integer only. We don't consider the sign, just take the numerical value of integer and write it as result when we have to write the absolute value of any particular integer. Additive identity. Additive identity is the value when added to an integer results in the original integer as sum. For example, x is some integer. We need to add some value to this so that the resultant sum is again the original number that is x itself. So this can happen only when we add 0 to x. That is why 0 is the additive identity for integers. Take an example like 23. 23 plus how much will give back the same number as result that is 23. Here we have to add 0. So 0 is the additive identity for integers. Multiplicative identity. Multiplicative identity is the value when multiplied to an integer results in the original integer as product. X is some integer. We need to multiply it with a particular value whereas the product so obtained would be X itself. So this statement can be true only when we keep here 1. 1 into any number will give the same number as result. So multiplicative identity of integers is 1. Like 32 into 1 will again give you back 32. So 1 is the multiplicative identity. Additive inverse. Additive inverse is the value when added to an integer results in 0 as answer. Say for value x, we have to add something here so that the resultant answer is 0. When can this happen? We have to add negative of this value so that resultant sum is 0. Say we have 2 as an integer. We need to add something so that the final result is 0. What we can add here? We can add minus 2 to this. So that 2 and minus 2 will get 
cancel out and we will have zero as answer now when we take any integer for this the additive inverse is minus six and if we are taking minus six the additive inverse of this is x say 345 what is the additive inverse of 345 it is minus 345 again if we are considering negative 345 what is the inverse of negative 345 that would be 345 we just have to change the sign for that particular integer when we are talking about the additive inverse inverting the sign of the integer is additive inverse